Hi, my name is Steve and it's August 19th and I noticed something in my yard which looks rather uh, strange. It's a mushroom. I've always been interested in mushrooms and it's a very large mushroom. I was very psyched because I thought it was maitake mushroom which I know has uh, many healing properties for cancer and can help regulate possibly diabetes, stuff like that. So I see this mushroom outside and I'm psyched because it looks like a maitake mushroom. Um, I want to show it to you, see what the other people think. Uh, I guess there's about two other types of mushrooms that actually could be. So looking at it, if you could just take a look and I'll show you, it's actually a pretty good sized mushroom. There's three of them on the ground currently right now that are about this big. And it looks a lot like maitake but not totally, not based on pictures I've seen. And looking at two other mushrooms that it could possibly be uh, that aren't maitake mushrooms, it doesn't really have the characteristics of those either. And I guess uh, maitake mushrooms don't come out in August. So tell me what you think. I'll uh, show them to you, they're right over here. Um, I'm at the base of an oak tree and the roots have gone under. They seem to be attached to the roots that have gone under the little piece of driveway and they're not attached uh, right to the base which I guess my takis usually are so I'm not sure what is feeding off of it but take a look. Okay so there's three visible mushrooms right here. There's one over here and another one over here, another one over here and there's two smaller ones right in the back and I cut a big one yesterday, it's probably about this big, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Let me zoom in on these for you so you can take a look. Okay, there's one, another one behind it, and another one here. Pretty good size. Just want to get on top of these a little bit more. Looks like there's a little bit of poison ivy coming up through this one and it's amazing how the mushrooms can actually wrap around grass and little plants and stuff as they form. Now here's the oak tree that actually goes under the driveway. So it's a large oak tree and it sent some roots out. Kind of goes under here and then basically around, and these seem to be attached to the roots right there. Whether it is maitake or not, this is quite the cool looking mushroom, and it's quite big. I think all the bugs and flies are having a field day with this. Look at that, very cool. Okay, so this is the mushroom I cut yesterday, and it's actually pretty big. Let me just get it off the tray here. And here there was one piece like this. All right. And it was actually pretty hard to cut off the root that it was on. And the only big tree that's around here is that oak tree I just showed you. Um, just take a look at it close up. And it actually isn't like all that stiff. It's actually pretty pliable. If you look at it, um, pretty soft. If this were an edible mushroom, you could probably cook it and it would taste pretty good because it's not really tough but it looks like it's starting to get a little bit of coloration on it dark coloration down here uh, where it's getting kind of old so if this is an edible mushroom it may be getting past its prime but anyway I just want to show people what it looks like and I really hope that I have something here that I could come back and get each year but since it's not fall and since we haven't had a cold snap probably is not the maitake mushroom from what I'm told. A uh, great member of the Boston uh, Mushroom uh, Mycological Society 
actually gave me some information that might help me identify this. So if you have any suggestions, if you're seeing this, if you think you know what it is, let me know. It would actually be cool to put up on YouTube. Hey, this is Steve, and thanks for watching my video. I hope it's been helpful. Maybe we can identify this mushroom, and I can uh, do a little overwrite on this and actually talk about what it is um, instead of what it might be. So please give me any type of response. Send a message, send an email, or a video response would actually be pretty cool too. I'd love to start identifying these mushrooms, maybe growing them, and for health reasons, I know a lot of people that have cancer, and if maitake mushrooms actually can be grown well in this area, that'd be great. If there's anybody in the Rhode Island area that actually goes mushroom hunting and knows where some mushrooms are or have some maitake, I would love to see them. That would be really cool. Please get in touch. Thanks.